Yeah, guys, what's up? Dirty Birds are back, still outside Citizen Bank Ballpark. And uh, we're going to talk Philadelphia Flyers in their offseason, what they have done so far. And um, big news, uh, just made a huge blockbuster trade before the draft. Definitely. Um, acquiring Chris Pronger, who is huge. very proven. You know, yeah, he's a definite proven player and a guy that uh, we really, uh, I guess we really needed him. Uh, after lost a couple of guys, well, we lost, well, we traded a couple of guys. A couple, of, I think we traded, kind of. A, I don't know if we traded a lot, but you know, we traded Lupo and Spieza, two guys who, you yeah. know, kind of like I guess they're kind of young. You know, Pronger's up there, like what is he, 35 or something like that. He's kind of up there in age, so only maybe only a couple more seasons with him on the team. But I see where the Flyers need to go, and they want to try to win a championship, I guess. And he's a guy that can definitely help them out. You know, right? yeah. Um, they gave up. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't give up as much as like a lot of people say like to give up yeah. a lot. But Lupo was you know streaky in the playoffs. Sometimes he wouldn't really show up. I mean he scores 25 goals, but sometimes he would disappear in games. And Spiza, that was the only one that I really didn't want to give up. But yeah. he's a young guy, and that's a guy Anaheim would like to use. And I mean you gotta give up something to get something. Definitely. So. And their Definitely. first round picks, who knows what they. Those will be yeah, two first round and, uh, picks this year and next year, and a conditional third. But it's only if we win the cup, so hopefully <laughs> we'll have to give it to him. Yeah, that would be definitely, nice. Definitely. So. Um, but Pronger, he's a physical defenseman. He hits everybody. <laughs> he's yeah. a, he had 11 goals last year, so he can put he can score. He can do a lot of things. That's well, something we really so. didn't have. We don't really have too many like no really, like, like Coburn's defensemen. like eh, yeah. like him and team and can score, but they don't that much. But uh. It was good I to think get somebody. A, I think it's a huge pickup oh, yeah. for our team. I think it's one that we definitely need to make. I know we wanted Bo Meester, but you know that didn't work out. Probably would have, have to give up more for Bo Meester than uh, we end up giving up for Pronger. Um, but I think it was a good trade overall, and I think it's definitely going to help us out next year. All right, and um, in the off season, we had uh, a couple people that uh, we decided not to resign up. Number one was um, uh, Knubel, Mike Knubel, who signed. Uh, Washington. With Washington. Yeah, so a team that we uh, always seem to to play in the playoffs or something. A team that we hate. Uh, something like hate Pittsburgh as well, obviously. But you know, uh, he's. I liked him too. You know, I wish he was we a good twenty-five goal scorer. Yeah. I mean, he was. You know, a good guy on the power play. He'd go to the net. He'd score some good goals for. So I wish we could have kept him. Yeah. yeah. I wish we could have resigned him, but. But he's going to join Ovechkin and all them over in Washington. That's yeah, a good fit. That's a good pickup for them. Definitely. Definitely. Um. We lost both of our goalies as well. But it was by choice. Yeah. Martin yeah. Biron, we decided not to bring back. And Terran and Mackey, we decided no, they, not to bring back. They both, they're both, they're okay goalies. You know, they're not I think great they're goalies. they're decent, but I don't think they're anything spectacular. Like, Nina Mackey's a solid yeah. backup. But we went out, took a major chance, and yes. signed Ray Emery, a known head case. Yes. I mean, one of those guys that you never know what you're going to get. You know what I mean? He's, he's all off the wall sometimes, but... You know, hopefully he can come here and uh, do a do a good job as goalie. Just, just, just keep the buck out of the net. You know, that's all you got to do. Baron did. I, th I liked Baron. You know, I think he did a good job. Even though last season, kind of was eh. You know, the year before that in the playoffs, he was yeah, he really good, was good. You know? But expected. Hopefully, he'd pick it up again this year. But he you didn't really at all. I hope Emery can do like the same thing. You know, so. I just think that if um. If Emery can, you know, they can keep him on, like, on the straight and narrow and not really, him not getting in trouble, not mm -hmm. getting, like, road rage or getting <laughs> drunk and fighting with teammates or anything. As long as he's just, like, behaves, basically, and um, he has the capability to be a great goalie. Like, in Ottawa, he was one of the top goalies in the league. Yes. And then uh, he was actually an all-star when he was over in the KHL in Russia. But, um... <laughs> But uh, so it proves he still got it. But just hopefully he can. Got to keep him out of trouble. That's yeah, the thing. If he know? can stay out of trouble, it'd be great. It's like, just it's like Pac-Man Jones with ability. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I was um, thinking the same thing. Like he's run our test of like the NBA or or he's like a TO or something. He's just a guy that always talks. But TO really doesn't get in trouble, I guess. So but, we'll uh, see how uh, he can do for us. And uh, trying to back up goalie uh, to back him up. Uh, an Boucher. old friend, yeah, an old friend. We had him uh, before he came out through our system, came up, and he was our starting goaltender. Like I don't know, that was like five or six yeah, years ago, though. Ago. He was pretty good. Went to Phoenix and did all right, and was the backup in San Jose last year. So we signed him to a two-year deal. Decent pickup, you know. He's pretty cheap, but he's a proven goalie. Um, I thought we could just kept Nina Mackey. 
I don't know how much more would it cost, but yeah. I liked what he can do. And you know, if Emery goes crazy, then we have a <laughs> solid yeah, backup yes. to uh, you know be the star for us here. But I think Boucher could be that guy too, if uh, he had to. If uh, you know he's called upon, I'm sure he's going to start. You know, 15, 20 games this year. Emery's not going to start every game. Yeah, so definitely. we got two decent goalies, and um, we didn't really make any. Sp well, we did make a splash getting Pronger and Emery. That, you know. Emery's got good skills, but you know, like a lot of teams weren't going after him because of his, mm -hmm. you know, issues off the ice. But uh, then we picked up Ian Perrier from I don't even yeah. know what team he was on. <laughs> Only had like seven goals that year, so he's just another winger. He'll make the team. Yeah, probably. He'll probably be an RA right player for us. Maybe score like ten goals, hopefully. But uh. No big well, names, really, other than that. Not really. Yeah. Hopefully, you know. As I said in the last or earlier, um, they don't have that much space, you know. They don't have that much cap room, so they weren't not able to sign any big guys like Hosa or anything like that. No, hopefully. Or Easter. Hopefully, at some point, we like. I don't know if we'll unload Danny Briere or what's going to happen with that. Probably not at this point. If he can stay healthy, maybe he can actually be good this yeah. year. Um, but like up to this point, he really hasn't been worth all the money he's been getting. Definitely he's not. Injured like almost all of last year, for a lot of last year, and. You know, he he is healthy. Hopefully, he'll stay that way this season and contribute to the team. And uh, so we got a lot of you know good young talent. College of Ruid yep. did good down the stretch oh, last year, and then, uh, we got the year that we uh, were horrible and had like the we had the second pick. We got James Van Riemsdyk. He's gonna he's probably gonna be up with a big club this year. And it's gonna be interesting. To, yeah, hopefully you know him, Giroux. All these guys will just keep maturing, <laughs> and you know Richards, Cardo, Gagne, all all those guys will hold yeah, all the guys down. Yeah, you first. know, yeah, you know they're gonna be good. So, so we'll see what happens. Should be a good year for the Flyers. I think if they, you know, make a trade, the trade deadline, maybe pick up um, another winger or yeah, something like that. To help in a trade. I think we, they could be definitely a cup contender. Oh, no but doubt. I think right now they're definitely a playoff team. I think they could easily win the division. But uh, I think you know Boston's going to be tough oh. in our conference, yeah. and of course, obviously Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh since they won the cup. As so. hard as that is to say, because <laughs> we hate Pittsburgh. So uh, that's it for the Flyers off season. Now, if they do anything else, well, yeah, we'll definitely uh, you know. break it down when it happens. So that's pretty much it. We'll be back uh, with the N NBA this time. That we'll come up with since they also have free agency underway. Yep, definitely. So, so we'll guys, let you know. Uh, thanks for watching, rate and comment if you guys can, and we'll be back.